Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here as we get ready for our winter storm going into Sunday. Primarily the threat here is going to be freezing rain. It's significant icing. That's really the big concern. That's why you're seeing the airport uh, have issues with a thousand flights being canceled. American Airlines not messing around. Um, not a lot of change in the watches and warnings. Really no watches now. We just got advisories and warnings. Ice storm warnings, winter storm warnings, and winter weather advisories for almost the entire area. It's very rare to see this many areas covered by this. Um, most people think, okay, we're going to get snow. This is not a snow event. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to preach this all week. It is going to be mainly an ice event. We're starting to see some precipitation out there right now. Some of this is falling as snow. I do know the temperatures are cold enough. We're seeing snow in the mountains, and we might see a little sleet in a few other areas. You can see that kind of showing up if I show you what it looks like on the radar. I'm definitely getting some snow reports um, and actually accumulations in the North Carolina mountains. But here's our storm system, and boy, it is not lacking for moisture. I think that's the one thing we know. It's going to be a ton of moisture. The upper low is interesting. There's colder air in the mid and upper levels there. This is where the warm air is aloft. But what's happening um, at the same time that is going on, we're getting cold air coming down from Canada, which is wedging itself down the eastern facing slopes of the mountains at that cold air wedge. That's down here at ground level. That's around uh, a ground level to maybe three, 4,000 feet. So if we look at the air temperatures, the one thing you'll notice air temperatures, it's, it's cooling off quickly out there. Look at the 30 showing up here. That air is moving this direction. At the same time, warm, moist air is moving in above us from that direction. And one thing we'll watch are the dew point temperatures. The dew point temperatures are real crucial. Um, I'm gonna show you kind of the wider dew point temperatures. I know I have a wider dew point temperature map. Um, I wanna show you this real quickly because one of the things I've noticed here is look at all this dry air. Dew points in the single digits and teens up here. That drier air is filtering in at the ground. Aloft, this warm, humid air comes in, and what happens is you get evaporative cooling. When you throw moisture into a dry air mass, it creates cooler. It drops the temperature to what we call the wet bulb. When that wet bulb temperature is below freezing, you're going to get ice or sleet or snow, and that's as that thing heads our way. So let's go hour by hour. We'll show you the details here. That northeast wind pumping in the cold air. Overnight tonight, two, three, four in the morning, here comes that moisture. Oh, that's all gonna be sleet or ice from Charlotte South. Snow in the mountains and foothills could accumulate pretty quickly there. Then it starts trans transitioning to sleet and freezing rain. And boy, that looks nasty for the middle of tomorrow. I mean, that's all ice, 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 ice. And in the middle of the day, the warm air tries to come in from the Southeast. Look at that, um, maybe above freezing. I, I mean, that's a question mark. If that's not above freezing, that is bad news because that's heavy rain falling into freezing temperatures that is heavy freezing rain okay that freezing rain lasts into mid-afternoon and then as the upper low which is cold air aloft comes in we may see it switch back to snow so probably the best snow chances are going to happen at the tail end of this for the piedmont um, and in the mountains you know the snow will pile up early but on the back side of this we see northwest flow snow that could persist for a while. You see it kind of waning there early, but then look at the surge of moisture from the Northwest on the backside. So the snow in the mountains will continue. I'm fairly confident we're gonna see some good totals in the mountains if you couple all the snow on Sunday. And what's likely gonna fall on Monday, that's gonna set the stage for some good snow. But that mixed area is right there across the Piedmont. Um, get a lot of questions. What's the Piedmont? That's a great question. If you're not from the area, you're not familiar, these are the mountains, okay, in the adjacent foothills. Everywhere between the mountains and the coastal plain, which is I-95, this is the Piedmont. It's a huge area. It stretches from Virginia through the Carolinas down into Georgia. Okay, it's a big area east of the Appalachian Mountains. So that's that's what we're talking about when you hear us say that, uh, Piedmont of the Carolinas. And in that same note, if you look carefully, our impacts are really spiking around Charlotte. Why is that big population center? And likely significant icing means tree and power line issues possible. And notice even you know, off to the east here. I'm gonna, pull out, I'll play this real quickly. Um, you see some of these areas, you know, in red and out towards Anson County. So this area to the south, the reason you're seeing this is because significant icing is possible. So let's get right to the maps. We'll show you um, the areas I'm thinking about for significant icing. I'll stop it right here. Again, will this whole area see a half an inch in ice? Probably not, but somewhere in here, where's that band gonna set up where it stays below freezing the longest? If we get a half an inch ice, that's significant power outage. Quarter inch ice is a problem. That, that puts 500 pounds of weight on your typical branch or power line. Uh, and then you go to the Northwest. I am gonna bring ice a little bit closer up here. That's gonna mix with a lot of snow and sleet. Um, down here, this will likely be primarily freezing rain um, as we go through the event. So 
I want people to be ready for this ice because I really think that is going to be the biggest concern. Um, if we do get snow, obviously the biggest amounts, you can see them in the mountains. I'm, I'm really, that's the highest confidence forecast I have for some snow. But across the Piedmont, I almost wanted to keep the one to two. Now, two inches northern part of the county, one inch. So you could say one to two across the county. So uh, there's going to be something on the ground. It is maybe a little bit of sleet, a little bit of snow but the ice is gonna be the bigger story. As you go northwest, the gradient gets pretty tight. You go from one to two to two to four, four to six, and then six to 12 in the North Carolina mountains. Now the timing of all this has not changed much at all. I'll show you this real quickly. I can reiterate this again and again, 2 a.m. to 10 p.m. The worst of this is gonna be probably the first half of Sunday into the early afternoon. So pretty much bank on that being the worst of it. And then as you go north, impacts are more in the snow category less power outage issues but probably a little bit more freezing rain and sleep mixed in uh, than what we had before so the, the bottom line in all this is everybody you need to prepare for some significant icing some of us are going to lose power is everyone probably not are the roads going to be hazardous everywhere probably not because of brine but there are going to be parts that could be impassable bridges overpasses trees come down on the roads that could be the problem that's the thing about these weather events it doesn't affect everybody exactly the same this is a huge area we're covering here. And again, the, the, the weather in your backyard or your street could be much different than the street two or three streets down or even a block away or the other side of the county. But that area is the area of concern where we could see icing. So it's better that everybody prepares like we're seeing a lot of other people do across the Southeast. Uh, cold after this thing moves through, really chilly weather. We'll talk more about that tonight at 11. We'll have a special webcast on WCNC.com or the app if you have it.